Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We are doing a challenge. So you can see we are in our second account starting off in P18. Well, not P17 because someone got disconnected. But yes, last to first challenge here at the Nürburgring. What can go wrong as this Mexican decides that, uh, you know what, I'm going to slip, you know, put on the wets on a dry track. And uh, I'm no meteorologist, but judging by the clouds, doesn't really look like it's gonna be rainy here, but hey, what do I know? Maybe he is uh, cheating around here. Maybe he knows something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the wets work well on a dry track, but I guess we'll find out here. Anyways, waiting for the five red lights starting off now in P16. Uh, we get the five red lights and away we go as we get a uh, decent start here in the Toyota 86 and uh, heading into the final corner to lead us down the main straight. If you can call this a main straight to lead us into the first lap we take a little peek onto the inside of the mercedes of Fedegato, and unfortunately he just decided to cut us off and we had to back out of the move there if not we would have accidentally taken him out and that's not the goal here the goal is not to take people out the goal is to overtake people nice and cleanly and we get one done there so we're able to get around the mercedes but off of the corner Viper gets a really bad exit, goes onto the grass, loses it, and us and the Mexican were able to get around him as the Mexican goes a bit wide now. Not sure if he stayed on the wets for this race. If he did, then again, maybe he knows something that I don't know. Maybe he sees rain and I don't see rain. I don't know, but uh, if he did stay on the wets, you can see that that was a result right there. So he gets a very, very bad case of understeer off the exit, and we were able to sneak it right into the inside we get the p13 away from him so fast forwarding here we're working our way now through the uh, final part of the first section of the racetrack as we have a spinning brazilian up ahead in the audi tt get around him now as uh, he decided to kill himself going through the grass but find ourselves now up into p12 as we try to catch up to the next audi tt up ahead of us of uh, the brazilian p11 uh, going into the slow section here, we accidentally made contact with his rear, just kind of was inevitable um, due to the fact that we are racing in the second account. The second account is uh, matched up with CB ranked drivers, and uh, it's it's Nurburgring, one of the hardest tracks on the game. So I'm not expecting them to be ridiculously you know quick around this racetrack, um, although they 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 are uh, around that area where they can navigate it away around it but just uh, our pace is going to be a bit quicker than them so it's, it's going to be a little challenging and, uh, to stay right behind them and not make contact with them but also it's going to test our patience to see if uh, we can find gaps here and there to go for overtakes as we can almost make contact with the rear of the Audi as uh, we now head into this hard braking zone leading us into the downhill section so into the downhill section he breaks again uh, very very hard in the middle of the corner and uh, we, uh, we have nowhere to go except for his rear and I've been again just trying to avoid making contact as we just sneak it onto the inside he gives us plenty of room I think he saw that you know that we, we had a little bit more pace than him and uh, good on him he just went onto the outside let us squeeze into that itty bitty gap that really wasn't a gap but forced our way through and uh, Give us the spot, and now we are up into P10. So onto the top 10, not too shabby here. We still have a lap and a half left on this race as we are attempting to go into the outside of the Shiroko here. Side by side with the Shiroko, we make a little bit of contact. He pushes us into the grass. We somehow keep it straight, but into the left hander, he let's go the throttle, lets us go through. Let's the Brazilian go through due to that as well. We find ourselves now up into P9, so fast forward a little bit more as we head into the carousel for the first time. We uh, have a uh, spinning, I think it was a Scirocco spinning uh, ahead of us, and, and uh, caught, drew out the yellow flags, we're able to get around him, and now we are up into P8, so halfway through the field now. We've gone uh, eight positions up, starting P16, that's halfway, if my math is correct, I mean, I might be wrong, but... Uh, anyways, what we're talking Oh, uh, yeah, we're back on the racetrack, and yeah, so um, now trying to catch back up to the 7th, 6th, and 5th place driver. We actually see P4 also up ahead, 
I'm feeling very, very confident here. Um, I'm, I'm really liking my chances here of trying to get into the podium, maybe even going for the win as the leader is 16 seconds up the road. We have a BMW that gets pushed out wide by the American in sixth. And uh, he just gets a really bad case of oversteer on a lot of these corners. We attempt to go to the outside. And uh, that was not going to work there. So that was a very, very desperate move. Try to force our way through a small gap that really wasn't there also. And um, just uh, fall in line right behind him. And navigate our way through the final section of the track before we hit the long straight. Leading us into YouTube corner. We accidentally make contact with the Canadian. And he goes a bit wide on the exit. Loses the uh, the back end because of the grass and or the dirt. I apologize and uh, makes contact with us. We get slammed into the wall, but he's able to get it pointed back uh, straight afterwards. So uh, continue on here. And uh, at this point, I was just kind of expecting the payback now from the Canadian because I, I didn't mean to make contact with his rear. Uh, it just kind of happened that way, and unfortunately, it just took the um, you know the, the final blow, but. So head up now into this very, very fast winding section, full throttle here. The Subaru up ahead loses control as it gets into the grass, has to uh, get off the throttle. And uh, we make a nice cheeky overtake on the right hand side. And we now find ourselves up into P Steve, 21 seconds behind the leader. And uh, this is going to be a very, very challenging uh, thing to do here to try to catch up to the leader. Which is one lap to go. I mean, the leader looks like he's got pretty decent pace, to be honest, uh, for C CB lo uh, Lobby. So, um, it's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. But, you know, at least caught up to the uh, Ferrari and the Brazilian here in uh, fourth. And as we head into turn number one, we uh, break very, very early to, make con to avoid making contact with the Ferrari. And uh, now him and the Scirocco go side by side now into... The first section of the track. We go onto the left hand side. Truck gets a really bad exit. Force our way through. We are now up into P5. So we get a little bit of a tap from behind from the Scirocco. And luckily for us, we just did. Uh, we, we kept on the track. We didn't get pushed out wide. And uh, our day is still not over here. So uh, navigating our way now patiently behind the Ferrari. We're, we're going to have to look for an area to get a really great exit. Or abuse his slipstream here to try to get around him because the Ferrari's got a really great straight line speed compared to the Toyota. Toyota has a really bad uh, top end speed, especially on the straights. It's when we get onto the corners that's where the the Toyota just shines and just does so well around this racetrack. And uh, it actually gave me a lot of confidence. Actually, I I don't really do well around the Nurburgring. I'm really quite slow to be quite honest. Uh, but just with this car, the fact that it had just so much grip and it doesn't have that fast of top end speed compared to some of the other cars on this race, um, it just gives you that much confidence because you have, you know, you can make it through the corner uh, and you can just push the car and it won't give you snap over steer or won't give you under steer. It's just a nice balanced handling car. And that's what gave me a lot of the confidence of going through these corners uh, as if I were to try another car, I probably would have been flying off just like the Ferrari does right there. Go straight into the barrier there and uh, we are able to get around him. And now we are up into P4. So seven seconds up the road is podium. But um, as we head out of the left hand corner, it looks like the third place driver of damage case accidentally makes a mistake. And that seven seconds basically gets a race, and we are now only two and a half seconds away from him, and we have about a little over half a lap to try to close down the gap and see if we can uh, go for the overtake to at least get a podium. Then after that, trying to catch up to the leader, that's going to be uh, uh, an interesting job if we can even do that. But as we head now down to the carousel for the second and final time, as this was a two-lap race, uh, we're going to get right behind the Ferrari here. Let's get into the slipstream. It's almost there. We have to get in between that three and a quarter uh, split. And uh, as we head into the carousel, there we do. Uh, there we go. We are able to get it <laughs> and uh, make a little bit of contact with the rear, heading through the carousel. In my opinion, I think that actually helped him out. Didn't really upset his car. It actually acted kind of like a bump trap but 
he's able to get a really good exit and uh, take advantage of the straight line speed with the Ferrari but again as we head into the windy section once again and have to depend heavily on the downforce and the handling of the car we were able to just close back the gap and now it is going to be a two car battle here for the third place position as uh, I believe second and first are just too far up the road and we're just not going to have enough time to chase them down and get the win so at least if we can come home with a podium I'll be very very happy especially due to the fact that we start off in 16th so uh, not too shabby here but Ferrari gets a really bad exit as we now head into YouTuber corner and uh, we try to take a little peek onto the inside. But he closed the door on us. I didn't want to make contact with his rear. And, you know, we would have done that as it is on this race. I could take a shot for every single time I said to not make contact with the rear. I think I said it maybe six or seven times. And uh, yeah, but as uh, you guys are drinking away here and uh, uh, destroying your liver, we are still trying to get around the Ferrari up ahead. As we stay right behind him here in the slip, we go into the fast windy section. It's actually probably one of my favorite parts of the track just because we're able to just floor and go straight, or not straight, but full throttle do this windy section. It almost is like a straight. But as we head into the final couple of corners here, before we find ourselves on the long straight, we go into the left hand side, take a little peek. And the Ferrari gets a little bit nervous there as he breaks very, very early into the corner. And, uh,. We just had nowhere to go. We just had to stay a little bit patient here. So uh, we might be able to get the move done now down the long straight. It actually was kind of a blessing in disguise that we didn't get around him too early because once we get down the straight, once you get into that slip, it's going to basically be uh, game over for the car up ahead. And uh, that's what's happening here. So although the Ferrari has greater top end speed than the Toyota, uh, due to the fact that we have the tow now and we're going to take full advantage of that we're able to get the car up to 161 miles per hour we go to the left hand side we started losing a little bit of miles per hour here as we go into the little kink to lead us down to the final braking zone we are able to just clear him right before the braking zone slam on the brakes just get on it drop down the anchors and uh, there we go boys and girls we're able to navigate our way through the final couple of corners down to the final one right there on the straight and heading to the line we're able to come home with a p3 a podium around here on this uh, crazy crazy turnberry green race after starting off in the rear so really really enjoyed this race to be honest i'm actually really enjoying this week with the number i wish it was just one lap longer but i understand why they only decided to pick uh this track and only do two laps but there would have been three laps. I think uh, we would have been able to hopefully run down the second place driver. I don't know. They were actually pretty quick, the second and first place driver for uh, this lobby. So who knows if we would have been able to catch up to him. But anyways, still really fun challenge. And I'm really excited to do more of these challenges as the week progresses on here at the Nurburgring. Ring. But let me know what you guys thought about the week in the comments down below. And uh, if you guys really enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button. Help us out in the YouTube algorithm. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn that red button into a gray button. And uh, help us on our path to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, and again, if you want to follow me on the Twitch, Instagram, or on Discord, you can find all those links in the description down below. Since you made it all the way to the end of the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.